Hello and welcome back to Let's Build Braver College. In this episode, our goal will be to build the other quadrangle between B block and A block. Now, I wasn't actually planning on building the courtyard just yet because the outside's a bit hard. I want to put folks on the inside. But I found the hacked way of replicating the outside uh, of the courtyard between A and B block. I found out that the A and B block yard is very similar to the C and B block yard. And if they're not similar, well, they should be. Uh, it, they're actually a bit different in terms of the composition, but I'm going to make it as close as possible without using too much time and effort. Since this yard is very similar to the other yard, I'm going to fast forward through most of the construction. Figured you, did, you didn't want to see another 5 or 10 minutes when you build the same thing. Uh, it's not exactly the same, but it's very close, so I thought I'd just start off like this with the red and uh, grey contrasting pattern. Uh, it's actually not like this in real life. I, I realised that uh, a lot of the central parts are actually red concrete, so I had to uh, go back and uh, change some of these later. But otherwise, it's very similar, and I actually find it's quite easy to work with after I set up this kind of grid pattern. So I knew, even though it doesn't match up to real life sizes, it looks pretty good in Minecraft, and that's what matters most. <laughs> um, and I suppose you can say that uh, this layer is a bit different because instead of having the uh, small trees and the big trees, you have like two big squares. And they're followed by a small square, then it'd be two big squares, a small square, two more big squares. And there are benches around every single um, every single tree. Uh, another difference is that a lot of these trees are older, I believe, because this part of the school is older than the uh, B and C yard. Uh, for those who aren't aware, the I believe the A and the B wings are the original school buildings, whereas the C block was added later on as a trade, uh, a trade wing. So that's why they taught uh, textiles and uh, woodwork and so on and ceramic. So it's a bit, a uh, bit of a new building compared to this one. So uh, this part of school is a bit more aged. There's more trees and the, uh, the, the, the small bushes in these areas are more developed. So that's what it looks kind of looks like. Um, Another big change is that the VC center was built. Uh, so I'm not going to build it just yet. I'll be a bit later. So, but the uh, the, the the appearance of the ex the outside of this building would be not what I've got here, just because I haven't quite got time to uh, set up the new VC center. Um, another thing which I thought I'd do while I was waiting, uh, while, while while I was at it, was I thought I might as well build the uh, corridor linking the B block and A block. So I've got the entire corridor going from uh, C block to A block, so I can build the rest of the school. Uh, not that hard, it's actually quite modular, and plus I can now uh, build the barbecue area if I wanted to, although we'll have to uh, dynamite some of the, uh, the mountains around the, uh, the, the seed because I didn't exactly use flatlands. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, on a side note, uh, I have been made aware that we, a new principal has been announced. Uh, most of you know that Miss Maloney retired at the start of this year, so we now have a new principal. So uh, I'll bring more gossip news in a different episode, but this is basically what the uh, school current looks like. I like the outside. It's turned out quite well. Uh, I'll flash up some pictures right now so you can be the judge. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.